Scott, we're back at the hotel now. You've had a certain amount of time to digest what happened tonight. What are your, your emotions right now? Yeah, it's hard to take, obviously. It's, penalties are a lottery, aren't they? You know, and um, you know, I've got no, got no complaints on a penalty shoe, so you know, we've, we've won our fair share. And we've, we've lost a few, you know, but I just, just thought that after we got that goal to go 2-1, that we could see it out. Um, it was a game, an open stretch game really, you know, they had chances in the first half. Um, I didn't think we played a great first half in terms of keeping the ball and obviously creating many chances. Um, but I, I felt that, you know, the longer the game went on, we'd, we'd have more chances and have more um, good openings in the game, which, which was the case. You know, straight after half time, 46, 47 minutes, I think it was, that they scored the goal. It was, it was a bit, scrappy um, giving the ball away and then they've just nicked it through the centre of our goal and then she finished it too plugged in or whatever but you know when you when you get a lifeline late on it was only what 10 minutes ago was it um, you know you think okay you know go again and I felt that the balance of play was with us then and we'd made um, you know a couple of substitutions that were getting us higher up the pitch and we were getting more chances in behind them and they, they looked tired they looked shot so when we did score that second one, you know, I was just having a look at the clock and counting it down and stuff, but look, football's cruel, it's a cruel game and, um, you know, we've all been it long enough to, to know that if you don't shut up sharp or if you don't score that one, that, that next one that will see you through, the teams will always have that, especially teams who, you know, who lump the ball up and, you know, play, play longer balls and throw it in, you know, so that, you know, we're not the biggest side, we're not the, the most dominant at this moment anyway, you know, certainly with the, with the couple of injuries we had to the centre back, so it became difficult and I just had the fingers crossed there to, to see the game out, but, but you know, great strike, great strike to take it to penalties. It was nil-nil at half time, that's three competitive games so far this season, all of them have been nil-nil at the break, yeah. what were your thoughts then and how did you communicate that to the players? Yeah, I so, said, you know, don't worry about that because, well, you know, fitness shows that later on in games we're, we're good anyway. Um, we'll always create chances. If we have a bad spell in the first half or a, or a spell that the other team have been on top, we'll have, our, we'll have our time in that second half. So I don't really get too worried about it. And obviously, the later the game went on, we, we did look stronger. Um, you know, they had, they had a few chances as well. Um, like I've said before, you, you can't take them lightly. They've, um, you know, although they're fourth at the minute, they've, they've had good spells in the last, in the last few years. So. Um, coming away from home in you know, a one leg, it's, it's, it is like a cup final, like I've uh, talked about before. So I'm just disappointed. I'm gutted for the players. And you know, when you when you get that chance and you've only got to see it out for a couple of minutes, that's first and foremost. And then when the lad hits the bar in a penalty shootout, and you've only got to step up and score, you know, you think maybe the luck is with us. But you know, I'm not blaming anyone for penalties. That's that's far from what I'm doing. And you were forced into a substitution in the first half, Keston Davis off yeah. injured. Do you feel that that change that you were forced into affected things in some way? Yeah, it's always gone, isn't it? You know, he's um, you know he's a good dominant centre back who can play. So you know when you've got to make changes and we had to make the decision on on Ben. I thought Ben did very well tonight. You know he he looked composed at times and that was just rewards for him um, having a good second half at Barry. On, um, on Saturday, so um, yeah, it does. It, it, it disjoints your team a little bit, and it takes what you've been planning away from you. You know, we've twenty odd minutes gone, or whatever it was. So um, yeah, we made changes, and, and you've got to get on with it. You know, we've had had to make other changes in the game, and um, that's the decision of the manager to make the right changes. And it went to a penalty shootout, and you won't need reminding that the last three penalty shootouts that TNS has been involved in have not gone the way of the new Saints. Does that have a psychological bearing on the players at some point? Yeah, but when I was in charge the first season, we won a couple of penalty shootouts. So it's a law of averages. Penalties are, you know, you get tired and you get cramped, you get mixed emotions of how you've played in the game. And, and it's, it's, it's a psychological battle. It really is with, um, with the opposition and the, the goalkeeper that you're standing up against, you know, walking from that halfway line is a, is a lonely walk and one where if you're not in the right frame of mind you can change your decision you know that's why we put 
um, Paul Harrison, you know, up there with as with as good as anybody at penalties because he's mentally strong, knows what he's going to do with it, and um, yeah, again scored another scored another pen for us. And you can see just how much that victory meant for B36 Tour Show at the end of the game, the way that they celebrated. We often talk about domestically how the new Saints is a scalp that everyone wants to get. And it's probably true to say that certainly in the early stages of European competition, that's also the case. Yeah, Look, when you win a cup tie, when you win a Europa League one-off tie, it's, of course it's, a, it's an excellent feeling. You know, look at us a few weeks ago after Zelina, it was a, it was a fantastic feeling. On the other um, side of it tonight, we've been on the um, receiving end, you know, of, of some um, decisions as well. Go to the referee, geez, there was some, you know, I think he, he made three or four um, wrong decisions. He didn't book enough players when we're clean through and, and the linesman then got involved. But, you know, that's just sour grapes we've gone by the officials. But um, I felt second half we were okay, first half weren't up to our standard, um, an extra time I thought we, 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 did, we did okay, we, we looked after the ball more and broke but we were always susceptible on the counter as well and like I say when, when they turn it around real quickly and you know they, they play for flick-ons and, and the 22 you know it's good in the air and we, we've, we've highlighted that so it was always going to be against us you know and I, it was just like I said you know, Fingers crossed there at the end, but it just wasn't to be. It wasn't to be tonight. And finally, we stay over in the Faroe Islands tonight, travel back tomorrow, and then it's Cardiff Metatome on Sunday. How do you then go around lifting the players for the challenge back in the JD Cymru Premier? Yeah, you have to. I, I said to them after the game, look, I'm, I'm gutted for you, I feel for you. It's, it's, it's a hard place to be. You, know, you don't want to think about anything else. There's, like Even at the moment, there's nothing else going through my mind apart from losing the game and um, you, know, you, you sort of you want to pick the lads up but you haven't got the words to really give them because you know it probably falls on deaf ears they're really gutted you know it's not as if we've played terribly and we've been outplayed because we certainly haven't been outplayed by them um, you know that, that strike he'll hit one of them in 100 from the edge of the box because you know they don't really score goals like that so yes fortune has, um, has favoured them tonight and Fair play, um, all the best to them in the next round.